loves welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is Desra Alexandra and welcome so today I'm gonna bring to you a another purse haul review my review will be on the Dior saddle wallet bag if you guys want to see that review then just keep on watching so here's my bag um, I just wanted to like I don't know don't ask me why I bought myself a new purse because I don't even know why I bought myself a new purse but um, I remember like around Christmas time my husband was shopping for my Christmas gift and he was gonna get me a Fendi purse and I don't know I just got like into like looking into a new so I just started looking into buying a new purse myself because I'm like oh well I had been wanting a new purse anyway so I was just kind of doing my research and I was like what pur what purse do I want next like and I've always always wanted Dior so I got the Dior saddle wallet on a chain here's the packaging um, I just want to say if you've seen my previous videos you know how it, it upsets me when you order a luxury bag and you don't get the full experience with the box and stuff so shout out to Dior for actually sending sending it how you should receive it so let's go ahead and like go right into this and open it I don't know why they gave me such a big box for a small bag Here's the bag, and there's the rest of the box, but it's fine. Here's the dust bag, and then here's the bag. Ah! It is so pretty, you guys. I am so excited to review this purse because I just want to mention how, like, I wanted a new wallet on the chain. I have the Louis Vuitton one, and the YSL one so I wanted another wallet on the chain because I don't know I just got tired of using that one so I was between getting the Fendi one and the Dior one and I've always always wanted a Dior bag by the way this is my first Dior purchase so I'm so happy with my first Dior purchase so I've always wanted a Dior bag but the bag that I want is has that um it's like that little bag I think it's like the saddle handbag um, and it's like over three thousand dollars so I'm, I'm like if I'm ever gonna spend that much money over three thousand dollars on a bag then I'm just going to save up for a, Ch a Chanel purse because I'd rather have a Chanel purse duh um so so between choosing Fendi or Dior on which one to get I went with the Dior one because it's only obvious that, you know, I've been wanting a Dior bag for one and two, there's a D on there and D for me, duh. So you like what I did there? D for Desiree. So let's go right into the bag. So you can actually take these, take the chain apart and then just kind of wear it like a clutch or a wallet. Um, so the back of it has a little slit in there. It has a button to open and close this and inside the bag comes with a little bag so this little bag I don't know I really do people actually use this little bag because I have it on my Louis Vuitton one too and I don't ever use it like what do you actually put in here I don't know please let me know but I think it's cute It says Christian Dior right there. And then it has a little wallet space right there for your cards. And that's it. So I'm going to show you what actually fits in this bag. So not much really fits in here, but what do you really need to take when you go out? Um, so even with the lipstick, it kind of like, it's kind of hard to close. It's actually really hard to close. With the lipstick inside so I put a lipstick in there and a mask um, excuse me why aren't you there we go that's to go out so it does it is kind of bulky when you put a lipstick in there so that's the only disclaimer about this bag but I mean I'm really using this bag to like go out and stuff so I would just need my credit card and my ID a lipstick and a mask here's a lipstick so how much do you really need to put in here? Um, also, it's a great length, length for me. Like I said, I am 5'10", 5'9", 5'10". So it does fit me at a really good good size. Um, 
Overall, I love this shape right here. Most Dior bags have this off anyways. Um, but I just love that, how that's different. And I was between, when purchasing this bag, I was between this one and the light gray one. I also really like the black one, but I think this is going to be like the only one I'm going to get. I'm not going to go ahead and get all the colors. Um, just because I, I like to have different options with bags. And I already have, and the reason I didn't get the black leather one, because that one's like beautiful. I didn't get that one because I already have like my YSL bags. They're all black leather bags with gold. So... This is why I went with this one, and I would honestly use this to go out. So if I'm going to brunch, I would probably use this purse. Um, I don't know if I would take her to the club or to the bar because I feel like because the material is cloth, I feel like if I were to spill like any drink on this, it would stain it. So I probably would not wear this, you know, to go out drinking or anything. But definitely, like if I know I'm gonna take care of her and stuff like that's when I'll go ahead and use it because she is beautiful now this bag retails I just looked it up online it is currently sold out which when I was in the process of buying this purse it was sold out when I was about to buy it and I think I checked like a week later and it was back in stock so just keep on checking this purse currently costs $1,400 exactly and I just want to mention that I just bought this purse like two weeks ago and I bought it for 1300 and something. I think it was like 13, I don't know the exact number but it was in the 1300s. It definitely was not 1400. So this pack has already gone up in price. So if you're ever second guessing on purchasing a luxury item, just get it like at that moment if you have the money because they tend to go up in prices and I have a couple purses that are worth more than what I paid for it because for one I bought them a long time ago and the prices have gone up so this is definitely one that's already gone up and it's only and I've only had her for two weeks and she's already gone up so definitely get it one thing I also like about it is the gold chain Oops. the gold chain it's like not gold gold but it's like a rustic gold so it's, it's very different this bag is different overall from any of the bags I have. Not to mention, it's my first Dior bag in my purse collection. So, I looked up there because that's where my purses are. If you want to see, like, the size compared to my hand, it actually is the size of my hand. It's literally, like, just to carry very minimal items because nothing really fits in this besides your essentials. So, it's not an everyday bag, it's just a going out bag. I'm going to give you guys another like look at the bag um, just because when I was buying when I was in the process of buying this bag I was looking on YouTube and there's like only a couple videos of people with this bag who have made videos on YouTube so I was like really trying to see like what the bag looks like how it looks on height how it looks in person inside out and everything so I'm just gonna give you guys a full look at it so it opens there's the chains. Ouch. There's that. So it has a little front pouch here. And then it has a divider. Then you have the little wallet space back there. And then to put money in here. There's my Dior. I usually keep these in the bags. Um, all my bags always have their tags in there um, just because if I ever want to sell it or resell it, like, I don't lose it. I mean, I guess I can leave it in the box too, but I just kind of leave it in there. Um, so yeah, you can put your money back there. And then you just snap it close on both sides. And then there's the D hanging there. There's that shape that Dior is known for. And then here's the bag. Got another pocket back here. I got another tag over here. I guess I don't need this one. I'm gonna throw that out. And then it comes with this dust bag and Dior did give me the full experience. So shout out to Dior. Because a lot of purses I've received 
that I bought online don't come with the full experience. Put her back in her dust bag. I store my purses back in their boxes. It's just me. Um, I know I've had people in my comments say that it's not good to do that because the bag needs to breathe. But I haven't had any issues with my purses yet. And I've been doing that for years. And here's the ribbon it came with. So I just kind of leave all that in the bag. I mean in the box. And then here's the box. I think the box is really cool too. Um, I want to say that this is their holiday collection box. I'm not 100% sure because I don't... Like I said, it's my first Dior purchase, so let me know in the comments down below if this is their holiday collection because I know some people have, um, when people buy Dior, they get the full, they get the all white box, but I didn't get the all white box, I got the design, which is, which I'm not complaining, I like it, it's really cool. I have a lot of, uh, collectible, I've collected a lot of, um, holiday collections from my previous purses, so if it is a holiday collection, that's awesome because probably be the only year to get this box and that's that so if you like today's video please go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye